Hi everyone, welcome to On the Other Hand. I'm Ariane Zerscher and today I'm going to be demonstrating the raised leaf stitch using Sue Spargo's Loop Easy. This stitch is so much fun and I will show you how to do it in a variety of different threads and thread weights to create different looks. This is also one of the stitches that Sue is featuring in her block of the month for April. So if you are following along her and doing her block of the month this year, this will be one of the stitches she uses. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to receive an email notification, you'll also need to click on the little bell next to the subscribe button. I love hearing from you, so please leave me any comments or questions you might have in the comments section below, and don't forget to check out the description section, which is where I provide links to all the different things, including the Loop Easy that I use in this video. So let's get started. For my raised leaf stitch, I'm going to go ahead and do it in this number five weight EZM 105, just like these are. That's what this is, these leaves. I'm going to use the middle uh, one. There's a small, a medium, and a large. I'm using the medium, and I'm going to go one, two, three steps. The third step is the one that I'm going to use. I, I position my loop easy where I want my, my leaf to go. So I want it to go sort of in this direction, and I start where I want it to end. So if I want my tip to be here, then that is where I'm going to begin. I bring up my thread, and then I come down right next to it. And pull it over my loop easy so it's held there. I now I'm going to come up right next to that stitch. Do you see how where it is? Is where my needle is coming up. It's just right next to it, not on top of it, but right next to it. I'm going to turn my spoke easy and I'm going to put my needle down on the other side, come back up. If it overlaps the the neighboring stitch, just straighten it out. So that's one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to do seven. I'm going to come back up for my seventh. And then I'm going to go back down. And now I'm going to come up my last one as though I were going to go right over again. I'm going to come up. I take my needle and I push it through those stitches, just like that. I'm going to pull this out. And as I do that, I'm going to keep this thread and I'm going to attach it just like that. And now I'm going to stitch this down. I'm going to anchor that thread right down next to the stem. If it gets a little askew, that's okay. Don't worry. You can always adjust it. I can come up here and I can tack this down if I want so that it doesn't move too much. You don't have to. And I didn't with these two. I just came and did another loop around. So the other thing I can do is I can come up underneath here and I can bring my thread around and pull this down just to anchor it a little bit more. There's my raised leaf stitch. I'm now going to show you how to do this in a different thread. I can do mermaid dances, which I just love and which is very similar in the colorway as to the EZM 105. So I'm going to go to the other side and I'm going to make my leaf come out here. This will be the tip. It's the largest one and I'm going to do the, the largest of the steps. So I've got my thread here. I'm going to come back down.
slide my needle through these stitches and slide my loop easy out. And I'm going to sort of gently direct this to where I want it to go, which is towards my, and then I'm going to secure it down, holding it with my thumb. I can play around a little bit with the way that it's laying, and then I can add a little stem here, a little back stitch. I can come back up. And I can anchor it down again. There's my variegated eleganza, and here it is in shepherd's silk. I'm going to use the sea foam. This is my Aurora. Again, an 18 chenille. Here's my tip. I'm going to use the large but the middle step to position this where I want it to go. Bring my needle through these stitches, very gently pull that out. I'm going to push him down. I could have gone a bit farther out. Do you see how he's sort of overlapping the stem, which is unfortunate. It would be nice if he was coming right to the end of the stem. I'm just going to tweak it and kind of push him the way I want him to go, which is not where he wants to go naturally, so it's not going to look quite as nice as if I'd done it the first time. And I'm going to push it right down into that stem through this, through the middle. And I'm going to come back down. And that's my Aurora. I can do, you know, another up here, or I can do them smaller now. I think maybe I'll skip one and come up here. I'm just going to demonstrate using the smallest of the three loop easies, and I'm going to use this middle one to make a very small leaf as I did here. I'm using a different color. It's the Le Grande Chartreuse Aurora, and I'm just going to do the exact same thing as I did before. It's just a smaller version of the larger leaf. Just kind of moving this back and forth as I go. I'm only going to do five this time, so you can see what just five looks like. Slide my needle in here. Remove my loop easy, and there's my little leaf. Come back up, and this is something I like doing. It's certainly not something anyone else needs to do. It's just something I enjoy. I like doing the double. So I've done a number of different sizes and a number of different thread types. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful and that this might encourage you to try the Loop Easy with the raised leaf stitch. It's a lot of fun. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to get an email notification, you'll need to click on the little bell to the right of the subscribe button. After you click on that subscribe button, it should show up. I love hearing from you, so leave me any 
comments or thoughts you might have in the comments section. And don't forget to check out the description because that's where I put the link to all the different thread types, uh, the Loop Easy, and everything that I use in this video. Until next time, here's to stitching together.